I always say Stapleford's the centre of the earth and if you edit that bit out, you're in trouble. A councillor for 10 years, Richard's proud to serve his community, but there is a price. I used to be a doorman, I was a bouncer, some of the roughest places around. You know, we've had people pull out knuckle dusters, I've had been threatened to be shot, I've had people pull machetes out and all that lot. That's never personal because they just don't know you. But the, the abuse you get being a councillor, yeah, I'd say it's worse. Richard has received abuse so hate-filled that in 2021, one of the perpetrators was jailed for three years. There was a, a lady that used to live around here in Stapleford that was quite abusive online. I ended up having to block her over 30 times on Facebook alone. There are about 100,000 councillors in local government at all levels and more staff on top to support them. Research carried out by the Local Government Association found more than four-fifths of councillors say they've received some form of abuse or harassment. That's up 10% on the year before. With an upcoming election, people are worried about increasing levels of abuse. In 2015, extra police protection was made available for MPs, but that same protection isn't offered to those in local government. What I want the government to do, and they can do it uh, quickly, even before the local elections coming up, is to put in place with the local government association a package of measures to give particular protection uh, to those councillors who are suffering really bad abuse now to make sure during the run up to the elections they are protected both in person and in their homes. The local government association is calling for the department for levelling up housing and communities to drop the requirements for councillors to make their addresses public. We need to stamp out this abuse and intimidation and get local people, representing local people, and then everyone wins, don't they?